Welcome back, I'm Internet Celebrity Brad Pritchard. This is Super Mega Baseball 3. I want to save chains. We renamed a player to Boat Dismal. Oh, Javi Cortez gets worse at fielding. Not a big deal. Only four. He is 30. So let's take a look at the sign and release. I said first let's look at player development. We're going to have a little bit of money this season. Uh, Chucky Hit Hutchinson's not a player. That speed boost is pretty awesome, but I don't want to pay for it. Send Lubbock Chops on a celebrity date? It's so cheap. Arm minus five, I can live with that. For a little more hitting and speed? Sure, let's do it. So we got the plus 16 speed. Lubbock Chops, he's above average speed now. Amazing, Herbert Hackman, not a real player. Uh, he is 31. We don't invest in 31-year-olds. 5% uh, chance to gain walk prone. Her actually is already pretty bad. It's not. It's a pretty. It's a pretty good upgrade, but it's a little expensive. All right, we're gonna leave that as is. Let's take a look at the players available. Jalen Stewart's down to 8.5 million. Not gonna replace Fleet with him though. This is the only player who's good, and I don't want anything to do with him because he's disgusting. And he's 39, so no bueno there. Sorry, I'm not this. Joseph Broseph still asking for 8.8 .8 mil. Someone will pick him up eventually, but I can't pick him up at that price. We're gonna keep taking a look as the season goes on. I especially I would like to pick up another relief pitcher, but he's the only one who would be worth picking up. Uh, Rufus Zumar is also kind of viable, and as a starting pitcher, relief pitcher, he's got some utility there, uh, but he'd have to get down to four million. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Hey, let's simulate some games. Should have checked that after I simulated. Moon Stars pick up a win in extra innings. And the Wide Loads, they're a force now. They're real. 14 to three. That's all there is for simulating. We're taking on the undefeated heaters. Give me just a moment here. All right, let's play this game. We got Bugsy snuggling down against the rather good Bishop Fuller. Um, it was a National League game, so we'll be hitting with our pitcher, which is a shame. That means no Wankerstein today. Um, Fleet Beefy, he's got that weird icon next to him. What does it all mean? I think, uh, I think Cat Stanza goes up to Yeah, let's do it. Gonna try to keep patient on defense, or sorry, on hitting. Uh, the heaters look like they've got some really nice bars. Here's Fleet. Still looking for his first hit. And that's not gonna sneak by. I'm not mad at swinging at that pitch. I swung a little late and it wasn't great, but. Was it a reasonable pitch to swing at? Yes, yes it was. Crotch grabbing me off. All right, Cat stands and drives one back over the pitcher's head for a base hit. Love to do some little bit of damage early. That'd be nice. Here's Odin Escargo looking for his first hit as well. And I should not have done that. So so far, Odin Escargo has been a bit of a bust. He'll come on eventually, but. All right, so let's see how fastball man Bugsy Snugs is feeling this season. We've had a remarkably consistent pitching staff, I feel like. It was just foul. 
Yes, I cut Tiger Tent. No, I don't feel good about it. But he was just too expensive for what he was. Uh, that's not going to slop in, is it? Nope. Okay, this guy's working the count. I'm not going to get frustrated by that either. I'm just going to throw in good pitches. That's fair. Boom! What a throw by something dismal. Boat dismal? I think it's boat. Mashadonga still hanging in here. We got very, very good stats. Not great. Fake sneeze season. Got a little slowdown going here, so I feel like I got away with something there. Real butt scratch. And Eel Soup's there to make the play. What a powerful throw. you love to see it. Here's Boat Dismal. First of Bass is being renamed Boat Dismal. Wow. Coming at me, huh? And I slapped it, but... Couldn't get the job done. Slay Jones is not batting cleanup, my mistake. Well, I knew it was high, but it was so fast. Tough pitch. Well, that's going to be called a strike. And a base hit for Filet Jones. He's start starting off this season right, getting lots of hits. He's not known for his contact either, but he's getting it done. Throwing some crazy ass pitches here. No green light. No does look. I was probably not gonna hit that anyway. Look at the discipline. I am temporarily a new man. And a base hit for Horace. Runner will hold it third. Probably a mistake. But he'll soup ready to drive him in with a grand slam donger. Good pitch. You're going for it. Almost too fast. I'm against Close one. Full count. Oh, I made him work for it, but the results were not wonderful. Now the pitcher's going to be batting. Now batting the pitcher, Busby In just a moment here. This is very important. I didn't know that private libraries were a thing. All right, here we go. Come on, Bugsy. Come on, power swing. Fucking crushed it. <laughs> Is it gone? Grand slam tonger for Bugsy Snugs. Man, that phone break really paid off. <laughs> Unreal. Now batting the center fielder, number 83. 
Wow, went way too early. Oh, and Fleet Beefy gets his first hit of the season in style. That thing took a wild bounce. I'm just going back to first. I'm too afraid. Now batting the first baseman, Chad Stanzik. What? Oh, it's inside. Oh, I thought I could do better with that. But there's no complaining about an inning where you get the pitcher grand slam. Enough smoking. Like, too much smoking. Smoking too much since I got home. Let's not do it. Now, that is the first Bugsy Snug's now locked in thanks to his... <laughs> nice catch. His incredible hitting prowess. <laughs> Probably throw a strike at some point here, though, I think. What? It wouldn't even give me that one? I'd change my pitching philosophy. You know, you can't kind of pretty much pipe that one, but 3-0 pitch, they will not swing no matter what. You know where that's going? All right, got lucky there. Here's Ray's Rufo, the fucking villain. Got no idea what to do with that pitch. Bugsy Snugs comes up with it. That might not have worked if it wasn't locked in. Oh, Dismal backhands it? What a powerful throw that was. I was barely paying attention. My cigarette's still burning. Fire still burns. All right, let's see if we can get Odin Escargo his first hit. This has sucked so far for him. And he does. Right up the middle. Hitting that up the middle base hit just like on the other team. I'm not sure why Bo Dismal's batting so high in the lineup. That was kind of where I made my mistake there. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Didn't think I hit it that bad, but here's Filet, though. Got the same number of RBIs, Bugsy Snugs. <laughs> that pitch uh, made me... Push. <clears throat> and a base hit for Filet! He's a solid contact hitter now, it appears. Takes that one high. Can't have it. Definitely a strike. A little early on that one. Two strikes on Lloyd. Ugh. Alright, gets the runner, the lead runner, but no big deal there. It's all up to horse dastardly. Number 27. Give me just a moment. Oof, too early on the change. Oh, God. That was not good at bat. Put a little pressure on, but couldn't get any additional runs. Slider. Fastball is not enough, but Bo Dismal backhands it. Easy catch. Yeah. 
Can't believe we got all of that beautiful fastball. Decides to bunt. I mean, it might work. Jesus, what a fucking two-strike bunt that was. That was the uh, best bunt I've ever seen in my entire life, quite honestly. That guy's probably bunting, too. Doesn't like the looks of that one. Right, put it. <laughs> I prefer not to waste my fools. Oh my god, another just incredible bunt. This one's not gonna work because he's slow, but that thing was a thing of beauty. Those are the best bunters in the league, I guess. That, that. We get it out of the jam. The high hop, which I think a regular person had a hard time handling, but Eel Soup just gobbles it up. They get their first hit of the game on a um, an amazing bun single down the third base. Now batting the shortstop, number 29. Alright, nice pitch. Eel Soup got all that one. Not enough, though. Ow. Oh. Here's Bugsy, ready to hit another donger. Well, it's not a donger, but it's still a hit. Bugsy Snugs, the offensive MVP. I guess I'm never contact swinging again. I power swing there for no real reason, but I did it. Alright, nice pitch. Fleet Beefy does again. He's back. Two hits on the game for Fleet. You love to see it. Now back, the first baseman, Pat Stanza. Ooh, why did I swing at that though? Right. Same question. I've stopped looking at pitches. I'm just swinging like mad. A little bit of slowdown, but it wasn't the reason for those two strikes. And she's not quite gonna make it. Advances the runner. Good try by Cat Stanza. See if Odin S. Cargo can get it done. That's not enough, I don't think. No, 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 that's not it. So, another couple of hits, but we can't get any runs across. Here's the, ooh, the slowdown just got real. Nice catch by Cat. Toss it over to Bugsy. This thing's still smoking. So my cigarette that I didn't put out managed to set another cigarette butt on fire. I hate to see that kind of thing happen. Stop smoking. Nice pit. It's not really wild. Of course, Dastardly makes the blade two down. So far, Manny and now Bugsy are just... Are, they're putting together some innings. Love to see it. It's not going to continue all season, honestly, but... Just getting off to a great start like this feels good. 100 miles per hour heat here in the fourth. Uh, I just couldn't figure out which player I was getting it with, and it's not in time. My bad. Ow. Gave him a mojo up, too. Oh, Castanza couldn't do it again. There were no no real stakes there, but you want to catch that. Establish that precedent. Man, they are quite picky about my fucking pitches. And he spanks it. Blade Jones trying to catch a man napping in a second. Not really going to happen. Not a real thing. Love to see an out here just to get out of this small jam. Get that one though. Nicely done, Bugsy. I mean, Bugsy did provide all four of our runs with a Grand Slam donger. No matter what happens from here on out, it's kind of gravy. Here's Boat Dismal, mysteriously batting cleanup. Maybe it's not that mysterious. Maybe he's just a destroyer. That one is going to drop. Okay. Boat Dismal slides into second for a leadoff double. You love to see it. Now it gives Filet Jones a chance to use his RBI, man. Buff. He's not swinging at that trash. I've swung at some bad pitches. This also, not swung at some bad pitches as well. Three. Green light. 
Base it up the middle. Sorry, that's not really up the middle so much as to the gap. Runners on first and third for Lloyd Cook. Oh, that was so slow. Oh. Lows the bases. We'll take it. Here's Horse Dasterly, right? His second donger of the season. The all grand slam offense. Well, I'm not going to swing at that. Swung it down, that was equally high. Wow. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. It's a double play. Oof. Mojo up for the pitcher. Save us, Eel Soup. Disagree. Ugh, the changeup just keeps getting me. I'm not recognizing. So that, that inning ended in tears. Jesus Christ. I flubbed that. Strike three. Bugsy, 99 mile per hour heat. Right over the middle. There. Slops that one out to Fleet Beefy, who uh, does move forward and make the catch. By my protestations. Bishop Fuller's got some contact for a pitcher. Maybe you can hit a donger as well. I doubt it, buddy. Tried. Wow. Okay, a little pitcher revenge. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. We'll make it harder to get him back down to tens. Thought that pitch was perfectly adequate, but apparently it was. Lay Jones is going to stretch out for this one, but he just jams his face into a fence rather than making the catch. Lloyd Cook gets that one, though. The inning's over. Hate to give up a hit to the pitcher, but we'll take it. Ron Bugsy, keep up the good work, buddy. What? Pitch was fucking wild. Oh, that was a good pitch to hit. I just didn't do a good job. Sorry, Bugsy. Mr. Single. Okay, perhaps you just won. Make God, why did I swing at that one? Mistakes. Not a good looking inning thus far. Let's see if uh, Cat Stanza can save us. Oh, that was the pitch. And a base it up the middle for Cat. You'll love to see it. Come on, Odin. Feel like I should have done better with that one. Needed the great contact, didn't get it. So far, they've been absolutely frozen by Bugsy's. Okay, can you still get it? Yep. Uh, by his slider. He's been doing great work. Cat is going insane over there. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's having a great, she's having a great time. He is a she. Sorry that I always misgender you, cat. Bother you too. I don't understand words. Really? Man, they are just nickel and diamond me here. Oh, well, that's how you normally say that, but. Bugs, he doesn't want to give up the first walk of the season. Instead, he gives up a home run. <laughs> Jeez. 
That's a good pitch. The great 99. The guy is a phenomenal hitter, but still. I'm getting boned by all those strike calls. Well, I'm great about it. Ugh. It's only the sixth somehow. It feels later. I'm that quite confusing. Oh, what a. Doesn't matter because we're right to. Boat Dismal can't handle. There's no way he gets that play. Mojo down for Boat. The renaming. I thought it had worked, but it. Nice throw. Mojo down for that fellow. Yeah, I smoking a cigarette. That was a really good play. Here's Boat Dismal. Oh, I hit that so well. Why does that have to go right at him? Mr. Single. New pitcher. DeAndre Downhill. He's not good. Oh, but it's fast enough to fool me. Whoa. A slider. Hmm. Only that's going to continue the same. Right into each other. It's a lot. Oh. Too much coordination. And yeah, that's not good enough either. One, two, three inning for the whole line. Bugsy getting a little tired. He's got that first pitch strike. You'll love to see it. And you give him the, uh, the accidental low heat. Oh, eel suit. What the fuck happened? This game's far from over. Some say when you your only offense is a pitcher grand ooh, pitcher grand slam, maybe you don't really deserve to win. I mean, it was a pitcher grand slam, so it was awesome. But two on, no outs. That's not wonderful. Gonna have to take Bugsy out soon. I'd like to get through this inning. Don't know that it's gonna happen though. That was a tough one. Yeah, this is looking rough. Fleet Beefy throws home and holds him. I'm not I'm not taking him out yet. Wow, he took a he sucked on a mojo down, so maybe I am. It's screw power time. He tested the waters. He's back. He's still a sirloin. Still our number one reliever, other than the Duke. But it nominally he is our number one reliever. Oh, that's gonna be the strikeout. Okay. Let's get a double play in the threat. I got a, I got a Roquefort on my team too. Double play ball. Let's see if we can turn it. I believe we can and. Screw Powers gets us out of a jam. You love to. Here comes a new pitcher for them. Um, not good at baseball. I like to see that. I mean, get some more runs. Number 27. Horst Dastardly knocks that one up the middle. Oh no! Now the Number 29. Microphone's back by. I don't have my hand on the controller, so hopefully this isn't a strike, but it is. Eel Soup hits it hard, hits it right at him. You know, that's going to be caught. Nelly Roquefort. Screw power is fast as fuck. Locked in. Well, I got locked in already? Fine. And it's a beauty. He might make it. He's fast. Screw powers with the bunt single. You'll love to see it. I thought it was a little high, but... Uh, okay, everybody's going back. It's all up to Cat Stanza. We could use a couple more runs. I'd feel much better about myself if we had him. Uh, I'm not sure why I swung at that. It was a mistake. Pitch, and takes a swipe at the high one. It does not work out. 
So another disappointing batting inning. Got 14 hits, but we just cannot get any runners across. Ah, oh, you hate to see that kind of thing. Go, oh, yeah, all right. And dive anyway. Guess she's gonna swing at everything and make contact. Irv. But she doesn't give a shit. High heat. High heat gets the job done. Cat stands and says, I got this. Turns out she does. Turns out she does. One down. Right at Lloyd Cook. Two down. Screw Power is loving that pay decrease. It's really lit a fire under him. And Flay Jones should be able to make the catch there. Three up, three down. And we're heading into the top of the ninth. Sirloins still just clinging onto that four runs. Here's Escargo. He is tense. Oof, I wanted that one, but I failed. Fuck, I am letting Odin Escar go down. We're going to have to turn that around at some point. Here's Boat Dismal. He's not happy either. Ugh, and he pops out. Ow. The new guys are having some struggles. Here's Flay. He's Mr. Single. He can crotch grab. That's not going to do it either. We're headed to the bottom of the ninth. All the runs we're going to get are the Bugsy Snugs Grand Slam Donger. Weird. Ah, that's going to be a hit. Despite that beautiful power throw. Alright, gets the job done there, so we can get a strike. No weak. Wow, that was not great fielding. Nice cannon by Escargo, but that fielding error is gonna maybe haunt me. Screws down to uh, neutral because of my bad fielding. I hate to see that kind of thing. Strike three, though. Strikes him out. Good stuff. Still, this uh, Vinny Vortex, he represents the dying run. Not great. Screw Powers is locked in again. There's got a little more power if we can get this guy out. A little bit inside. Oh my god. Another strikeout. Screw Powers just teasing those first two at bats. Here's Ella Royds. And there it is, the assist from Cat Stanza to Lloyd Cook to close out the game. That's classic Sirloins baseball right there. And, uh, yeah, I think Bugsy Snugs is the player of the game. What do you think? Eight innings pitch, one earned run, and a Grand Slam home run. There he is. <laughs> Two for three, four RBI. Screw power. I mean, I think he deserves it. Weird-ass game that was. R R.G. Gibson. Playing at 86 Ego must be a real fucking monster. Yeah, not want to play this game against him. Let's simulate some games. We're going to take a look at... Well, let's see what's going on here. Sandcats take down the champs, giving them their first loss of the season. E-Wolves lose again. They're not going back to the World Series. Crocodons, what a comeback, but they still can't get the win against the Buzzards. Rebooters, they've lost us, but they're maybe not going to lose the Hot Corners. 6-0 final. Platypi throttled the grapplers for their first win. Saw Teeth cannot continue their winning ways the Wild Pigs rally to win. Herbisaur is looking for their first win, and they'll get it against the Woeful Nemesis. They, they were bad last season. I don't know if they're still bad. Hey, we're going to take a look at those. Oh, Joseph Broseph found a team. They got rid of Bale Bozer, who's good, but old. You have to be pretty cheap for me to sign him. Lucy Finnegan's is out. No big deal there. That doesn't matter to me. Let's take a look at the at the signing release. Galen Stewart getting cheaper and cheaper. 
Aileen, excuse me. She's so young, but I don't want to get her to Fleet Beefy, so. I wish I, I wish I could sign her to be a backup, but I just I don't have that kind of financial flexibility. Pork Longstreet at Croak at 3.7 million is our highest paid sub batter. <laughs> He's not expensive. Fleet Beefy gets paid 11 million at age 33, though. He's just. I love Fleet. I'm gonna get rid of him. Honestly, Jaylene Stewart would be, at 21, would be an amazing placement. Her arm is terrible. Um, that's never held me back before. That like 57 power. He's got 47 power. 70 contact to his 75 contact. 89 speed or 88 speed. His fielding is not as good, but his arm is obviously far better. Hmm. I'm not gonna do it, but certainly tempting. Oh, I hate to see it. Pitchers. Rufus Zumar still asking for 5.7. We're not breaking the bank for that one. Bale Bazar wants 9.2 million. Yeah, fuck you. Um, we'll see if his see that that comes down over time. Because that is that's not gonna do it. <laughs> Nothing too interesting there. Alright, we are playing the Moose. They're off to an 0-2 start. We're facing Slip Vanderwink! Holy shit! Former Sirloin Slip Vanderwink. Thrilling. Um <laughs> All right, so this is what I want. It all looks pretty bad. We got a lot of unhappy hitters, but we want to want to move him down one. Yeah. First star of the season for Turnip at Turnip. We're traveling to play the Moose here at Sakura Hills. They've got some depressed batters as well. Let's get Fleet Beef going. Pitcher is. Split Vander is not bad. I crushed that thing. All right, it will work, but okay, I've tried for it. Slips better than I remember. He's looking at that junk. Pat Stanza got a good bat on that ball. And it's gone. Her first home run of the season. 2 0 sirloins. That's her first of the season. You'd love to see her get going. Last year's team MVP. Oh, I should have done better with that. 98 power, but I did not make good contact. And Odin Escargo continues to struggle. You hate to see that. Ooh, I thought I was going to come back in, but it didn't. Oh, my God. Hate you sidearm people. Didn't enjoy that. Rough at bat for Filet Jones. Here's Lloyd Cook. Now the second baseman, Lloyd Cook. Nice hit, but it will be caught. It's only good contact, not even great contact. So it feels great to get two runs. A shame we couldn't keep him at tense, but he got he recovered quite quickly. Ooh, there's that tourniquet turnip control, which is basically non-existent in that pitch. First screwball of the season. Let's see it. I wouldn't give it to her, but I, I know it was good. Over the plate. The only thing that tourniquet turnip is missing is a change up. It'd be so nice to have one. Ugh. Okay, right to Lloyd Cook. Makes the backhand stab, throws the cast hands at two down. Excuse me, a little belchy. about that cat making some jumps nice first inning there for tourniquet here's wankerstein he's back he missed last game so we had no dh his beard has gone completely gray which is madness oh could have done better with that Sorry, Wankerstein. Here's Bo Dismal. Struggling like all my new acquisitions. That's a nice looking pitch to hit, but I didn't do much with it there. Here's Eel Soup. She's tense too. Everybody's tense. Ah! Gave me some decent pitches hit. I just didn't do it. So, we need to be up 2 0. Bottom of the second. I did miss that by quite a bit. 
Nice catch by boat or horse dastardly. Cat just going insane. Oh, are you sure about that? A little over the plate, but still gets it. Another strikeout for Turnip. He's out here looking determined. Three strikeouts already. Helps when they don't swing. Boat Dismal. Charges. Easy throw. Two down. Ojo up for Tourniquet. Love to see. Wow, that was really hard to control. Look at this cat go, though, man. I mean, I know you can't see it, but it is fucking something. Sweetheart. Okay. That's down. True. Strike three. She does it again. Four strikeouts in two innings. Pitching has been absolutely fucking incredible for us thus far this season. Now batting the catcher, number 27. Oh, such a good pitch to hit. And a base hit for Horse. He's named that because as a child he really loved heroin. Fitness down! You gotta be shitting me. God damn it. Back on the horse. Lubbock Chops, the greatest pitch runner of all time. Bleep Beefy sends that for a ride. It's not gonna be a donger, I don't think. Oh, it is! I was wrong! Bleep Beefy! Two run donger. That's a mojo up. He is fine in his stride again. And here's Cat Stanza. I just couldn't see that pitch at all. It was like invisible to my eyes. Call that one in all its glory. Shouldn't have swung at that. Uh, bam. <laughs> Strike out for Cat Stanzi. Hates it. Here's Odin Escargo. Needs a hit. Bad. Oh, god damn. The riser. Oh, I did not come back in. Thought it might. All right. Slops in, and he's even able to go to second, and I think third. That can be the inside the park home run we all want to see, like the Baltimore Orioles did last night to win a game, according to Randy Davis. What a gentleman that guy is. There's Filet. He's an RBI man. That's a tough pitch. Ball. That's outside. Oh well, it's gonna bring a run in. They can't stop him. Whatever, we'll take it. Five zero. Play Cooko for one on the game. Really focusing on his beautiful face and sirloin's logo. We're giving it to former sirloin slip van. Why did I swing at that? So far inside. Well, he's throwing. He's throwing breaking pitches that don't break. It's quite confusing. I was confused. It's hit well. Great contact. Oh, it's going to be a hit. The only question is, will it be a donger? And the answer is yes, yes, it's a donger. Home run for Lloyd Cook. His first of the season. You'll love to see him get going. I don't know why they set the air horn off on, a, on the road, but they did it for us. And I thank them. And Wankerstein drives it into left center. He's slow as hell, but he's going to rumble into second. See if he can make it. Certainly can. Great third inning here for the Sirloins. Let's get Boat Dismal going. Do I miss Madoka Hayata? Fuck yes, I do. That seems fast. What am I doing? So far outside, I can't remember. But he slaps it to right. Runner is pretending to go home, but it's not real. Oh, on eel soup. Remember that run she went on last season? The greatest run in the history of Sirloin's hitting. And she does it again. Base it up the middle. Runner pretending to go to third, but that's not a real thing. 
Mojo down for slip. Oh, I fucked up my running. I didn't score. I didn't notice either. You can see that kind of thing. I feel I'm fairly confident with uh gonna get turnip out here, but I wish I'd gotten that run. Is locked in. Ooh. It's not bad. It's fine. Everything's fine. Fleet Beefy's there. I ran him too far, in fact. I guess. Mojo down for that batter. Here's Scott Douglas. Sounds like the most normal man in the world. Wow. That hit was anything but normal. Ah, why'd I dive? <laughs> and I knew I couldn't get it. But it would have been a double regardless, so. Long sleep, beef. He doesn't get hurt. We're fine. And that's the No harm done. Mojo down for that fucker. Jesus, I've just plowed through this 350 milliliters of Jameson. Nine hits through three inches. You'll love to see that. And here's Lubbock Chops, his first at bat of the season. The little base running earlier was excellent. I feel like Lubbock Chops got a hold of that one. One swing, one donger. This is the year of Lubbock Chops. 420 feet, or might be the year of Bugsy Snugs. I still remember that Grand Slam. The center fielder, number 83. Nice pitch. I thought it, with this reduced accuracy, you might just botch it. Fleet Beefy hit the fuck out of that ball. Second donger of the game for Fleep. 434 feet. You'll love to see it. 8-0. Sirloins. Are they going to take him out? No, they are not. Here's Cat Stanza. In their defense, doesn't get any worse than Rattled. Ah. Hey, he's working me. Ah, a little inside. Probably could have let it go, but two strikes. I can't take that kind of risk. Here's Odin S. Cargo. First triple of the season. Sort of lines in his previous at bat. What a crazy pitch. No, inside. Alright, no green light here. Just let it go. Sorry, the I wish I had swung. What a beautiful pitch. See what he can do here. And it's just ripped down the line by Odin. Odin's back, baby. Odin heading to second. He should be able to make it easily. Nice to get him out of that tense and into a good zone. Here's the RBI man, Filet Jones. His accuracy is getting pretty dire. Oh, come on. And he throws it away! Runners advance! I didn't expect that. That's another run for the Sirloins. 9-0. We are roughing up poor Slip Vanderwink. Nice pitch. Oh, shit. Nice pitch. He just started piping him for some reason. That was very confusing for me. Here's Wankerstein. Inside. Ah, I was a little bit inside and I shouldn't have swung. But the Sirloins did some great work there in the fourth. They are now up 9-0. Took advantage of an error. Not really my style. Excellent base running by me. I'm, I am seriously a very good base runner. I'm not trash runner. Strike three, Turnip just keeps throwing those strikeouts. She's got five on the game, which is, in my opinion, good. 
was it was it that low? She fake sneezes with the best of them, but it was wild. Or maybe not with the best. Oh, dude, it's calling everything wild. There's a bit of slowdown that's kind of fucking me up, but it's not that severe. It's this time it was severe, and that's me to walk. First walk of the season surrendered by the sirloins. I'm gonna blame the slowdown. Slow down persistent the next at bat. Ooh. The runners oh mojo down just like that. It's muted. Beautiful curve, it's not enough. Wild again. Also, that looked like a strike. I don't. There's a little high. Strike three, sixth of the game. Mojo goes back up. She's on that Mojo yo yo. Momo Tobo. I disagree with Hey, fine, yeah. Pretty fucking picky, aren't you? Right over the spike zone. But it's good enough. Floyd Cook waves him off. Catches the thing. Three down. Boat Dismal, Alejandro Eel Soup, and Lubbock Chops. Come on, Boat Dismal. You need a hit, buddy. And there it is. Base it up the middle. He wouldn't be tense if he didn't drop a ball. Because the fact of the matter is he did. Come on, Eel Soup. Let's do it. Ah, oh, I should have done so much more. If there was great contact, that was certainly a donger, but I only got the good contact. It's still pretty fucking close. Here's Lubbock Chops. Ah, oh, new pitcher and he's good. Doesn't matter. Lubbock Chops is going to be the second donger of the game. Or swinging at high pitches like a lunatic. We'll settle for the, the latter. I hate that, that kind of thing happen. Sleep Beefy having a game. So fast. Not used to it. Oh, I did not mean to swing. I let go of the button. I did not mean to, and that's a uh, easy. Man. Well, they've only got two hits on the game, which a lot of people claim is not many hits. I'm one of those people I claim. That was hard to get. Ball inside. Stanley hasn't made a tackle yet this game. That's going to change now. Here's Stallion Johnson. I hadn't noticed he was playing. Stallion drives out the middle. Mojo down again. Jesus Christ, your sensitive tourniquet. Didn't get the benefit of the doubt, but I know it was. Okay, got away with that one. I think Beefy says, I ran too far. I'm going back. Two down. Mojo back up. It's the Mojo Yo-Yo. Here's Alyssa Planner. She is rattled. She's actually really good. Considering that she's rattled, her stats are goddamn incredible. Excuse me. It's been a while since I've had a rattled batter, which... Got away with that one. Fiber Ahoy! Get your fiber, boys. I am almost out of Jameson. It's fine, I need to go to bed early soon. Here's Cat Stanley. She's got a dong. Taylor McWales has got some heat. And I shouldn't swing at everything. Here's Odin Escargo having a game. Still looking for his first run bat in and first donger. No, inside. Oh, it's so fast. Ah! That's enough. Sorry, Odin. No Filet looking for his first of the game. He's got two RBI regardless, though. Wow. I thought I hit that really well. That's it for the top of the sixth. Right, strike. 
I got the job done. Alright. Right. Boat Dismal, lovely catch. 66 throws, plenty good enough against that slow man. Nice catch by Cat Stanza, two down. Beautiful pitch. A little bit wild, and he crushed it. Not one foul. Either. Well, we still got an eight-run lead. It's not the worst thing in the world. His second of the season looked nice. So I guess we'll be we'll be seeing the Duke for the first time. I'm gonna try to get this pitch to the seventh, but she's getting a little bit tired. So I'm not gonna be able to keep her through more than seven. I don't think. Here's Lloyd Cook. It's great. I'm scared of this pitcher. It's too fast. I'll throw him so fast. Oh my god. Okay, I ripped the shit out. I was like, better get a hit. And I did. It wasn't easy. It wasn't much of a hit, but it counts. Come on, Wankerstein. Wankerstein. God, he looks so old. Well, that was right down the middle. What was that? He hit it so gently, and he's so slow! Fuck! Today's, uh, Mr. Singles. Oh, dismal. I'm going for that shit pile. I'm going for that shit pile, though. Ah, oh, fucking pitch. Well, I had to swing, I think. Oh, Mojo down again for Boat Dismal? Didn't get that one back under control, but it did go down the middle. Jesus, again, Brad? That'll be caught. That'd be a donger, though. It's off the fence. That'll be a triple. Hate to see that kind of thing happen. I probably shouldn't have jumped. Should have trusted my instinct and said that it was going to be caught. Not do so. What a pit. Not great, though. This one I'm not going to jump. I'm just going to catch it. Runner will certainly come in, though. They are really working that warning track power, aren't they? Turn is down to neutral, which you hate to see. Was it? Trying to get her through this inning, and I think we can do it, but double play would be nice. Oh, that's a pitch. Also a pitch. Go back to this. Which is free. That's hit hard. Oh, shouldn't have gone for it. The dive. Another triple. The old two triple inning. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. It's a little pop out there. Ah, we're holding it too long, I guess. And another run comes in. You hate to see that. Ojo down. Jesus, she's gone from locked into tense in just this inning. Let's, let's not push our luck here. No, it's time for the Duke. I did that for you, Randy. Conventional metrics. Oh, God, the slowdown is serious. Oh, are you fucking with me? I'm not going to bother throwing that. Conventional metrics say that Pants Porkman is now better than him. Uh, 
our hearts say otherwise. <laughs> ha! Indeed! Strike three. Alright, so it's nine to four. It's not quite as comfortably as it was. Be nice to get Eel Super hit, get her out at tens. Too many batters tens after that 4 0 win. Excuse me. And there we go. That's the stuff. Mojo up for Eel Super. We need to get her another hit after that, but. Second home run of the game for Lubbock Chops. Second home run of the game. No, it's not a home run. It's not going to be caught either. Lubbock Chops doing his best to run around. Eel Soup comes home. RBI double for Lubbock Chops. He's having a game. Fleet Beefy looking for his third donger. Not swinging at crap, though. Taylor McWhale is getting a little tired. That was a strike, so I'm not angry. Swing. And it's a base hit from Leap. Ah, uh, Lubbock Chops cannot do it. Wow, if I know they were thrown to second, I guess I could have. Here's Castiano. New pitcher, Omar Chombo. My second favorite player name to say after Momotobo. He's looking a little raggedy on the mound here. Oh, but get that one past Cat. She gets the job done. Good thing the infield was in. And Lubbock Chops lumbers home. That's 11 to 4. Here's Odin Escargo. Get him a donger. Number nine. No, yeah, not on that pitch. Omar Chombo is rattled. And it's another base hit. Bases will be loaded. We're not sending the runner here. So if we get uh, him another at bat, we can get the cycle. It's just a donger. Here's Flay Jones. He's an RBI man. As you can tell, he's 0 for 2 with... I think that's gone. Grand slam donger for Filet Jones. He is starting off this season hot. That's his third of the season. He's already got 10 RBI through four games. Is it four games? Three games? Three games. Omar Chombo is no more rattled now than he was before. He's equally rattled. Why am I swinging at that? He's up to 36 ERA. And that's, oh, geez, that was slow. But I think he can outrun that. Infield single for Lloyd Cook. Here's Dr. Wankerstein. Wankerstein. Hugh Jacobs, he's coming in with a 27 yard. Their bullpen must have gotten mauled in the previous game. <laughs> kind of fast for someone with no velocity. Oh, Lloyd. Oh, I should have done better. Should have done better for Wankerstein. Here's Boat Dismal. This is a, he's two for four, but he's still tense for that goddamn error. Crushed it, but I think, well, it's not going to be caught. And he makes it for the double. Nicely done. His mojo goes back to neutral. And here's Eel Soup. She's gotten back neutral with two singles. Number this infield in is just murdering them, by the way. That'll be a two RBI single for Eel Soup. And here's Lovick Chop. We batted around. He's ready to get his second donger of the game right now. 17 to 4. Love to see. He fucking rocketed it. And it's not caught, but they might catch me at second. Nope. Alright, my run base running was excellent there. Here's Fleet Beefy, he's 4 for 5 with 2 dongers and 2 singles. It's going to be a tough race for the stars of the game. He blasted to right, that one I think will not... Oh Jesus Christ, their defense is also falling apart. Look at Fleet Beefy trying to catch that run. <laughs> Runners are going... <laughs> and there it is. The triple drives in two. Here's Kat Stanza. Hugh Jacobs is having a rough time. That's gone. You can't throw that pitch to Cat Stanza. 20 to, 21 to 4, excuse me. <laughs> That's her second home run season, 483 feet. That brings to mind the greatest hitter of all time, Hammer. All right, 
Home run here gets the cycle. That's inside. Wait for your pitch. Send it yard. Ball high. That's high. Okay. That was... He had the he had the green light. I had to go for the home run. I didn't want to walk, but I fl flied out. Oh. Sorry, Odin. One hit, six runs batted in. Solid stat line for Filet Jones as he drives that one to center. And that guy just doesn't even bother to catch it. Filet Jones not fast, but he's going for the triple because he's not gonna he's he's going back. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> now batting the second baseman, Lloyd Cook. Ah, oh, I should have swung at that. I didn't swing at that terrible. Green one. That's deep. Will it be caught? No. Their defense is catching nothing. <laughs> I've never seen such a run of luck as this. All right. <laughs> Man, their bullpen is decimated. They're going to have a hard time. Their, their starters better feel well. In the near future, I've rattled at least two of their guys. This guy's already tense. Barry Ozone. I do like that name. Oh, I hit that so well. Don't catch it? You hate catching things? Microsign's had a rough go of it. Uh, 13 run inning. 13 run inning. We're going to head to Freebooter Stadium. I was going to go to Pete Boggs Gator Mall. Pete Boggs Gator Mall. The team deserves it. Here's the Duke. Fake sneezing for everything he's worth. That was just a curveball. That one was hard to control. But, Boat Dismal's there. Makes the catch. Lovely throw. One down. 13 run inning. I'm, I'm having a hard time getting over that, honestly. Excuse me. Okay, a little bit... Oh. The Duke! The Duke's showing him what he's made of. He's going to give him the, the fastball. The so oh, he got over 90, which to me is one hell of a performance. They call it wild, but I call it... it you can't hit it. Surprise got a bat on that one. Oh, they called it wild. I thought it was... Cats in the can't jump that high. Omar Escargo, no reason to dive. That would be insanity. Throw in a second. That's not going to happen. But look at the arm on this guy. Not that Hammer Long Ballo had a bad arm. He did not. His arm was, you know, first percentile, second percentile. Let's give him a vicious looking curve down in the dirt. Swing anyway. I'm going to hit it. That's. Not what I expected. That's a beautiful pitch, actually. Oh. And that's going right at Cat Stanza. She makes the catch on the fly. We're headed to the ninth. Sirloins. Guaranteed of hitting better than 500 for the game with 27 hits. That's the exact number of outs in the game. Let's get some more hits. Let's do it for Boat Dismal. Let's get Barry Ozone rattled as well. Boat Dismal. Base it up the middle. This is actually the greatest game in Sorlin's history, I believe. Here's Miss Single. Number 29. Hey, one good pitch. I don't think you can keep. Well, I didn't have to swing at that, did I? Base it up the middle for Eel Soup. She's feeling it. Gotta love it when Eel Soup gets going. She's gonna go on a tear. Here's Lubbock Chops. Three for four. All he needs is a triple. It's got a. I can't imagine the circumstances. Well, he's not that slow, actually. He's got that 15-point speed. Wow, that thing has some on it. Oh, come on, Brad. Nice pitch. Loved it. That's up. Full count. I'll take a walk. I'll give it to you. 
Oh, they did give it to me, but it hits it through the... That's good enough. Runner, heading home. Runner, not heading home. That would be ridiculous. Infield single for Loving Child. What a game he's had as a sub. Here's Fleet Beefy. He needs a, he needs a double to get the cycle. I'd take a donger, though. What? Oh, and I botched it. I'm sorry, Fleep. I've, I've never had six hits for a single batter. It would have been real sweet. Here's another player who's had herself a game. Five runs batted in. Which is about average for our team. Oh, I botched it. We're going to send the runner home. We need to get 23 runs. That's, that's our goal in life. Mojo down for catch. He drove in a run. All right, one last chance for the cycle with Odin Escargo. Donger's all we need. <laughs> oh, he hit it really well, but it was a single and not a donger. And a run in heads home because they threw the third like a bunch of idiots. Here's Filet Jones. Six R behind the game. Pitcher is rattled. What a shock. Oh, why did I swing? We're staying there. That ball barely got away from him. Good one. And he drives it into right center. Runners are fucking moving. And it's 26 to 4. Let's go, Lloyd Cook. Triple gets in the cycle. There's still a chance. They won't take Barry Ozone out. Well, it's not a, it's not a triple. I guess I have to keep uh, getting hits until we can find someone else who can get the cycle. It's not Wankerstein. He's struggled this game. Let's give him a dollar. Why did I swing at that? I'm sorry, Wankerstein. But it was another inning. I mean, we could have gotten more runs than four. <laughs> but I guess no need to get greedy. I don't know. Here's Stallion. He's Mr. Single. Duke's got plenty of stamina. We're going to, unless something goes horribly wrong, we're going to anticipate it. But I don't think that's wrong. I think Fleet Beef catch it. I might be wrong, but I'm right. No, he catches it off the wall, which is not ideal. Lead off double. How are you going to do the like that? We'll just take the easy out. Tackle is made. One down. I really wish I had gotten uh, 27 runs so that we had the same number of runs as outs. That would have that would have felt good. Again? I threw it to second. So, <laughs> so oops, I didn't even throw that. But I, I brushed him back. In no fear. Ha! Whatever. Gave up a run, but... He'll love to see it. And there's the game. Sirloins win. In a nail biter. 26 to 5. <laughs> what a win. So, um... <laughs> other than, other than uh, Wankerstein... Our guys had some games. Wankerstein really struggled, and I hate to see it. But, um, 8 RBI for Filet Jones. That's a lot. Um, probably the other surprise thing is Boat Dismal had 4 hits but got 0 RBI. That's kind of weird. But, whatever. He scored 3 runs. Uh, Fleet Beefy scored 5. That's a high number. Lubbock Chop scored 5. Wow. Jason yeah, Turnip with a nice little game. Or, sorry. Ice Nation's turnip. Tourniquet turnip. Had a nice little game. Gave a few runs there at the end. Seven strikeouts is still good. Fleet Beefy is our player of the game. <laughs> Filet Jones, the second star, and Cat Stanza with the third star. Um, all three of those well no, Filet Jones did not have two dongers. He had eight RBI, so that kind of zoom above Cat, but not above Fleet Beefy with his two dongers, a triple, and a five RBIs. 
566 star points. I don't think I've ever scored even close to that. Um, let's go take a look at this shit. Ow. What's the... I want to see what it is for single game. I don't know if that's possible. Also, things are being slow. Friends, your score. No big deal. Wins, hits, home runs, strikeouts, great catches, star point. Looks like single game, there is no scoreboard for that, which is too bad, because I'd like to see that, because that was a lot of star points. <laughs> ah, the sirloins are undefeated. Uh, let's take a look at the league leaders, because I think I got some people. <laughs> Not really. Look at Annabelle Stokes and Boatfellows, Beefcake McStevens. Kylie Patton, who really struggled in the World Series. Rod Forth, I don't know Milo Stewart very well. Devin Gonsendez is a hell of a player. Monica Hayata, still there at 500 for the Saw Teeth. Blade Jones, though, leading the league in dongers, and Cat Stanza and Fleet Beefy right behind him. And I see Bugsy Snuggs on the home run chart. You won't be seeing that any, any longer after this one. Blade Jones, doubling up the second place people, Hieronymus Jackson and Cat Stanza. Fleet Beefy's got five. Bugsy Snuggs has got four, of course. On base range, we're not good at that. Slugging, filet is not as good as Nathan Powers. What the fuck is this Nathan Powers doing? Nathan Powers has two dongers for the uh, overdogs. Annabelle Stokes. Wow. She must have walked. She's got a 700 on base percentage and a 1.3 slugging. That's pretty impressive. Does she have two dongers? She does not. She's just hitting a bunch of doubles and shit. Um... Hits, Filet Jones got nine of them. Lloyd Cook, Cat Stands, and Be Fleet Beefy have seven. Boat Dizwa has six. I feel like he was uh, unhappy for a lot of that time. So there's Annabelle Stokes in second in extra base hits compared to Filet Jones. How does she have a better... How does anybody have a better slugger slugger friend than Filet Jones? I don't know. Strikeouts? We haven't done that many of them. There's uh, Joven Bambino. Striking out a lot. Sorry about that, Randy Davis. Stolen bases, we don't do that. Uh, wins. Yeah, we got some of those. That's Probably another player who has one in Tourniquet Turnip. Saves one for Screw Powers. Whip, we're not there. Shady has not given up a hit yet. Uh, she's one of seven pitchers. Seven? Seven pitchers to pitch who have not given up a hit. Strikeouts. No, we don't have enough of them. I mean, I feel like, uh, I feel like Tourniquet Turnip had seven. She's just not making the list. Tourniquet Turnip, there she is. Seven. Strikeout strike to walk ratio. She does have seven. And I guess that's it. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the greatest game of sirloin batting the world's ever seen. I know I did. Uh, take care. I hope you have a great day wherever the hell you are. I'll see you again soon.